Morning. This morning, former President Donald Trump is considering releasing the surveillance footage of FBI agents searching his Mar-a-Lago home. According to CNN, some of the former president's allies are pushing for the release to invigorate his base of supporters. His son, Eric Trump, said in an interview that they would release the video at the right time. Meantime, later today, the judge will hold a hearing regarding another critical issue in all of this, whether or not to unseal the affidavit behind the search warrant. It's a document that would essentially explain why federal authorities felt the search was necessary. However, the Department of Justice is fighting that effort, believing the release would compromise the investigation. White House correspondent Kellen Howe joining us now live this morning with details. Hey, Kellen. Good morning, Rob. Well, later today at this hearing, we're going to see for the first time the Department of Justice really laying out its case for why it specifically wants to keep this affidavit sealed or under wraps. Uh, as you said, many people have been calling on the Department of Justice to reveal this affidavit because it could, could, it could provide some insight into what evidence there was uh, that persuaded uh, not only Merrick Garland, but also this court magistrate in Florida uh, to allow the raid to sign that warrant uh, and to allow the search to go forward at Mar-a-Lago. Now, earlier this week in a court filing, Justice Department lawyers said that they were open to revealing some other documents related to the investigation, but they were not willing to go as far as unsealing the affidavit at this point, uh, saying that doing so could really lay out a roadmap to their investigation and could have uh, some national security implications as well. But of course, many Republicans and former allies of the former president uh, are calling on the Justice Department to be more transparent uh, about the reasoning behind this search, including former Vice President Mike Pence, who said this at a speech in New Hampshire yesterday. And in the wake of the four years that we endured with the politicization of the FBI, the American people have a right to know the basis for this, this unprecedented action does demand unprecedented transparency. And several news organizations, including Newsy's parent company, EW Scripps, have also filed a request with the magistrate to unseal the affidavit so that those news organizations can learn the reasoning again and what it was that convinced that magistrate that signing that search warrant was necessary. Uh, now, at the same time, as you mentioned, President Trump is now also considering releasing uh, security footage from Mar-a-Lago from that day when those federal authorities were searching. Some of his allies are encouraging him to do so, saying it's not a matter of if, but more a matter of when. They're saying that releasing this footage could really pump up uh, the former president's voter base and could be a good strategic move for him headed into the campaign season. But there are some other Trump allies who are saying that that could backfire because by giving Americans this visual, uh, they could see just how many of these documents and materials were removed, including many that that were labeled classified, Rob. All right, White House correspondent Kellen Howe reporting live for us from the nation's capital. Kellen, thank you.